Hey folks, this is Adria, and I'm going to show you today how to get Tweetboard set up on your blog. So uh, a couple of folks came back from the 140 conference talking about Tweetboard, and they were like, well, what is this? How do I get it set up? And I said, no worries, I'll show you. So basically, there are free open alpha invites. So to do the Tweetboard stuff, you click here, and then you have to retweet this with your domain name. So you take this you got to be signed into Twitter and you replace your URL with your website that you want to show up at. In this case, mine is butyouragirl.com, right? So once you send that out, then um, the page says that you need to go to this little URL at the bottom here where the instructions are. So if we flip over there, it says, once I'm approved now, how do I install it? You have to copy this code. And you need to replace this part here with your real Twitter username, right? And this needs to go, as they say, at the end, at after the, right here, right before the body tag, okay? So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so what that means is we copy this bit of code, right? And then we can right-click and do copy, put that on our clipboard. Then I'm going to bring up FileZilla, which is my FTP file transfer application to my blog, to my website. Here we go. And I'm going to open up my directory. I'm going to go inside public HTML. I'm going to go inside WP content. I'm going to go inside themes. I'm going to open up the theme that I am currently using, which is Titan. And I'm doing this on a, an additional blog. I've already done it on one, but I, I often um, tweet um, for multiple blogs from one account. So the file that you most likely want to open up is the footer. So I'm going to right click and do edit. And for my text editor, I am using um, Edit Pro. They have Edit Pro Lite, iPad Pro Lite that you can use as well. We're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to look for the end body and HTML tag. Here they are. So we want to go ahead and go right before that and insert the code. We need to make a change here and change this to our name, which mine is Adria Richards for my Twitter username. Then we need to save that and we need to upload it back up to the website. So I'm going to bring back up FileZilla. FileZilla is going to say, hey, Adria, do you want to upload this? I'm going to say, I sure do. Thank you very much. Now, in the meantime, this is what it looked like. Um, I sent a request saying I would like you know this to be added for this, this domain, this blog. Right? And then what happened was uh, the bot for Tweetboard said, hey, Adrian Richards, you have been approved, yada, yada, follow these instructions. So I did this already on But Your Girl, and so this is what it looks like. After you get this set up, you may go, well, you know, there aren't any tweets in here. Where are all my tweets? The last thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you sign in with the account that you set up. So here it says Adria Richards. And so here, if we click over here, I'm signed in is Adria Richard, okay? So I'm gonna just complete the last step of signing in. So you have to click on that little sign in with Twitter because you have to say to Twitter, yes, I approve uh, that Tweetboard can go ahead and talk to my Twitter account. So here we go through the OAuth, as they call it, process. OAuth is an API uh, tool that allows um, applications to be authenticated to Twitter without giving away your password. So there I just said, you know, I say yes, ta-da, and there we go. So if you are having issues or trouble, make sure that you read the FAQ here. Look, I've installed the code, but Tweetboard is not working. You know, you got to make sure that you put the code in correctly. Um, let's see, how do I install it on these other platforms? Go ahead and read that. And then here, my Twitter stream is not being pulled. So like I pointed out, you need to make sure that you... Um, sign in and authorize it to uh, go ahead and get set up. But basically your tweets will show up in here and then people who are signed in can tweet right back to you. Let's go check my other website and see if it's been uh, updated as well. Here we are in adrianrichards.com and sure enough it has. So here we go, we got the little um, tweet board thing showing up. So that's how you go about getting it set up and installed on your website. If you have any questions, you can always just go ahead and uh, shoot your questions over via Twitter. With that, enjoy your tweet board.